Well, 2018 in uh, Saudi was quite a challenging year, actually. Um, a number of issues, including the implementation of VAT, um, certainly softened the market. Um, we are seeing that strengthening quite significantly this year, and in fact, we have a, a very positive outlook for 2019. Um, we operate uh, in two locations in Saudi Arabia, in uh, Jeddah and Jeddah Islamic Port. We operate the Northern Container Terminal. And in Jubail, we operate both the Jubail, Jubail Commercial Port as well as the King Fahad Industrial Port. Um, Jeddah is uh, a true mixed-use port, uh, import, export and transshipment cargo volumes. Um, and as I say, both the, uh, the local Saudi market and to a degree the transshipment market have been um, a little bit up and down through the year, uh, through, through 2018. But both of those we see will, um, are already showing seeds of recovery in 2019. Jubail is primarily today uh, an export market uh, driven by the petrochems industry and that has been an enormous success. We, we've seen um, uh, double digit growth year on year uh, out of Jubail. Um, we are on an ongoing drive now to promote uh, imports into Jubail where we're getting a lot of support from the lines as well who'd like to see a, a better match back of their equipment coming in and then being used laden out again. Um, so one of our main thrusts through, through 2019 will be to, to develop that side of, of Jabail's business as well. And as I say, in actual fact, that through 2017 was very strong. And in fact, we've had a long period of, of, of good success, a combination of primarily, frankly, great customer service um, and uh, a real focus on operational excellence. As part of the Gulf Turner Group of Companies, we pride ourselves on um, serving the customer both in terms of from the personal touch uh, as well as uh, operationally. And obviously that, that reaps its rewards in terms of customer loyalty. So even as we've seen uh, a number of changes in services uh, coming in to the different terminals in Jeddah, what we're finding is that the cargo owners themselves, because they appreciate what we do for them on the land side, um, have remained uh, very keen to continue working with us in NCT. That's been an interesting, uh, an interesting journey. Um, we have um, made a proposal to uh, Moane to uh, significantly upgrade NCT, um, and we've actually made a commitment that we'll in invest up to three billion Saudi rials in that investment uh, over the duration of, of the proposal. At the moment, there's quite a lot of changes going on in Saudi Arabia and in Moane specifically. Uh, there have been some. Um, uh, there has been some uncertainty in exactly what Moana's plans are at the moment, but uh, we remain very, very committed to Saudi Arabia and uh, very focused on, um, on, on supporting the, the country through this growth. Vision 2030, of course, is, uh, is a real game changer for the country. And uh, I, I mean, I personally have been in and out of Saudi Arabia for the last 25 years and it's an unrecognizable country now from where it was even two or three years ago in terms of the, uh, the sense of, uh, of excitement, of, of a belief that the country is going through change um, and, um, and an expectation that uh, to tomorrow is going to be better than, than yesterday was. And what's exciting for us actually is that the logistics side of the economy forms a cornerstone of Vision 2030 and we've made it very clear to the government that we are very excited by this and, and very keen to play a part of that as we move forward. Well 2018 we did in excess of 700,000 TEU. Um, that was um, somewhere in the region of 4-5% growth uh, over the previous year. Um, and um, those numbers are slightly uh, they mask the reality because what we're seeing actually is as the import growth is is improving then what we're seeing is as a, uh, a corresponding reduction in the repositioning of empty containers for to serve the exports because it's such an imbalanced port so the 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 underlying figures are in fact better than that no as I say I think the the, the important thing uh, having an event like this here in, in Riyadh is great I think it's it's wonderful for the, the country to be able to showcase itself it is absolutely in a state of change. Um, it's tremendously exciting what's happening here. Um, and um, I, I'm very much looking forward to the future to see what it holds for us over the next, um, next 10 years or so.